Greetings, I'm Hondo, and this is my review of the Radio Mule Electric Beard. The signal chain for this one is going to be my Modern Vintage MVP4 into my Trickfish 0.5K bullhead straight in Ableton. So this is the first pedal that I've got that I would describe as handsome. <laughs> it's got this like classy type of vibe to it and knowing how crazy the pedal can sound, this basically makes it like a little ax murderer in a tuxedo. Um, the finish on here is excellent. Uh, the combination of colors just makes it look fantastic right when you pull out of the box and it's going to look killer on your pedal board. Uh, as far as the build quality and the durability are concerned, uh, I dropped this really hard a few days after I got it and absolutely nothing on here broke, nothing came loose and the pedal has been working flawlessly. So, you know, I would imagine that this pedal is definitely going to stand the test of time. So no worries there. For the controls, the volume knob is an overall level control for the entire pedal. The tone knob is a tilt EQ, so it's mostly bass on one side and very little treble. And on the opposite side, you get lots of treble and a pretty significant bass reduction. You can think of the sustain knob like a gain control. So all the way down, you just get a little bit of fuzz and then maxed out, you get the maximum insanity from the pedal. The mids knob controls the body of the sound and can hollow it out or thicken it up quite nicely. And then the showstopper for the pedal is this blend knob. It's not a clean blend, but instead it's actually a blend between two different fuzz sounds. On the left, you get a big muff style fuzz, and then on the right, you get a gnarly super fuzz sound. So if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I have had quite a bit of experience with fuzzes and overdrives and whatnot. And whenever I get a new fuzz pedal or something like that or something in that vein always try to figure out like okay what sets this apart from the other fuzzes that i've used and with this pedal in particular there's two things one the mid-range on the pedal is just excellent uh it has a really just enjoyable quality to it that makes it fun to play by itself so it's going to inspire you to write riffs most likely and then on top of that it also sounds really good in a mix and it makes it uh, very easy to hear what you're doing without you stepping on anybody else's toes in the band. Uh, the second thing that sets this fuzz apart is that it's actually two completely different fuzz sounds in one box. Um, the one side of the pedal, or the one side of the blend knob, is a muff type of sound, which is more of like a low mid, heavy, big woolly type of fuzz. And then on the right hand side, the super fuzz is like a the zipper made out of lasers type of sound. Um, so it's very articulate and has lots of uh, aggressive kind of high end to it. 
and the way I've been using the pedal mostly is to have the blend knobs somewhere in the middle um, so either like smack at noon or a little bit on the uh, big muff side if I want something like a little bit warmer or a little bit on the super fuzz side if I want something with a little bit more articulation and then having those two sounds blended together gives you the sound that's like big and wild but at the same time is articulate and um, intelligible so you can tell what's going on in your bass sound um, and for that reason this fuzz pedal was the first one that i used in a kind of uh heavy setting but like not in a doom type of setting uh, and that's the background music that you're hearing right now and you'll hear a little bit more of at the end of the video uh, but long story short uh, I think every bassist should probably have a Big Muff style fuzz. Um, and if you don't have a Big Muff style fuzz, definitely check this out because this will kind of fill that gap for you. And if you already do have a Big Muff style fuzz, still check this out because it's got a whole different fuzz in here and the tone controls make this pretty flexible as you could hear in the sound clips earlier. Uh, you know, So long story short, if you want a fuzz, you should probably check this out. So for the bonus clips, I wanted to include two bonus clips for this video. Uh, one will be me playing with a pick because I think that this fuzz sounds particularly nice using a pick. Um, and then the second one will be me using the uh, electric beard as kind of the basis for a synthy type sound. Uh, because the mid-range on here is so good, it provides other pedals a lot of information to use. Um, so I combined this with uh, the Iron Ether Dub Terragraph, uh, which includes a low-pass filter in it that I'm using uh, with an expression pedal, and also the Horathia Type 1 uh, Chorus. So adds, that adds in some uh, additional texture that the fuzz pedal makes more obvious than it would be otherwise. Uh, so take a listen, let me know what you think down in the comments. So overall, I really enjoyed this pedal. Uh, it sounds great. It looks great. It's built incredibly well, and it's a really good value because you're getting two entirely different fuzz sounds uh, in one box. And right now on the Radio Mule website, it's 200 bucks. And that's just a fantastic deal for getting so many different sounds out of a pedal. Um, and on the pedal, there's no clean blend. Uh, and I know a lot of people are fans of clean blends and fuzzes. I'm personally not a giant fan of a clean blend unless it's like very specifically implemented. Um, but I think, yeah, you're not gonna need it on this pedal. As you heard in the sound clips, it still sounds great with no clean blend on here and it preserves your lows fine. Uh, so I think if you are looking for a fuzz, if you're in the market for buying any type of fuzz, um, I think you would be remiss not to check this one out. So that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe. There's lots of cool stuff coming down the pipe uh, that I would love for you to come back and check out. Uh, down in the description, there's links to all the gear that I use in the video. And there are also links to my social media, uh, in particular, my Twitch channel and my Discord. And it would be awesome if you would come hang out over there. Uh, all that said, I hope you're staying happy and staying healthy, and I hope I see you around soon. Take it easy. <laughs>